In Victoria Ruddle's novel Lover Boy, 2001, a mother's intense love for her son takes a dark and dangerous turn. Young Paul and his mother exist in a secluded world until Paul's desire for independence surfaces. When Paul expresses a desire to attend school like other children, his mother, consumed by the fear of losing him, takes drastic actions to ensure they remain together forever. The novel Loverboy received the 2001 Sister Mariella Gable Novel Award and was recognized as a 2001 Los Angeles Times Best Book. It was later adapted into a 2005 feature film of the same name, directed by Kevin Bacon and starring Kyra Sedgwick and Dominic Scott Key. The story is narrated by an unnamed first-person narrator, who shares her life from a hospital bed through flashbacks. She recounts her loveless childhood and her determination to be a devoted mother to her perfect son, Paul. Her own parents, Sybil and Marty, loved each other more than her, treating her like a mere project. After inheriting a substantial sum of money from her parents, she chooses motherhood as her life's passion. To maintain her exclusive bond with Paul, she avoids the distractions of a home and a husband and engages in a series of carefully selected, anonymous affairs. She believes that many men equals no father. After a miscarriage, she becomes pregnant again, giving birth to Paul, whom she adores with a consuming love. She dotes on his every need, convinced she is the ideal mother. She cherishes Paul so deeply that she refuses to use his given name, instead calling him a variety of endearing nicknames, including Loverboy. As Paul grows older, he addresses her as Miss My Darling. They embark on adventures called Romabouts, where they create their own unique world, making up words and avoiding the mundane aspects of everyday life. Paul's curiosity about school grows, and he longs to join other children on the yellow school bus. This desire troubles his mother, who insists on homeschooling him to protect their extraordinary bond. Despite her efforts, Paul befriends a man named Pete while on vacation, creating a rift in their relationship. His mother grows increasingly desperate to maintain her hold on him. Eventually, Paul's determination leads to him attending school, much to his mother's dismay. She becomes jealous of his attachment to his teacher, Miss Silken. In an attempt to win back Paul's affection, she fabricates doctor's appointments and takes him on secret outings. However, Paul wants a normal life and insists on being called by his real name, Paul. As Paul grows and loses baby teeth, his mother feels her grip on his love slipping away. She becomes increasingly desperate to hold on to him. In a shocking and disturbing turn of events, she orchestrates an apparent murder-suicide attempt by taking Paul into the garage and staging a car accident while they sleep in the running vehicle. The novel then shifts to a hospital room, where the nurses discuss the mother's actions, which have made headlines. Paul survives, and the mother is also recovering. It's clear that the mother's actions have caused irreparable damage to their relationship, and the nurses speculate that she might have ultimately achieved her desire to be separated from her son forever. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.